Hi friends, I'm the peace teacher at Lafayette Elementary School right here in DC. In my peace classes, we think and learn together about how to make the world a more peaceful place. And that has been a hard job lately because lately I've been angry and my students have been angry and scared. We've seen people doing terrible things right here in our city. And it's hard to try to make the world a better place when you're angry and scared. But we've tried. We've tried to understand what the rioters at the Capitol were trying to do, what they stand for. They say that certain people, certain white people, are more important than other people, that they deserve more rights and privileges than others. What they're doing is called dehumanization. They've been convinced and are trying to convince others that some people are less human than others, that they don't matter. That's why so many of us have been saying Black Lives Matter because there are people out there who say that they don't through their words or through their actions. But dehumanization is a trap that's easy to fall into. And I realized that when I was really angry at those people, I was falling into that trap because I started feeling that way too. I started to think, these awful people aren't like me. They don't matter. But when I think about making the world a more peaceful place, I'm talking about a more peaceful place for everyone on earth. Not just the people that I agree with or the people that I like. We're all connected because we live together here on this planet. So I've promised myself that I won't fall into that trap, that I'll remind myself that the people who did those terrible things are human, just like me. Of course, I want those people who did those terrible things to be held accountable. And I'll continue to speak out against the things that they stand for. And yet, they're human beings. So in my peace classes, we do a mindfulness practice that helps us to learn and relearn and relearn that lesson, that we're all human. We do this practice so that we don't fall into the trap of dehumanizing others to remind us that we're all connected. So I hope you're willing to give it a try with me now. I'm going to be asking you to think about another person, to imagine that they're sitting right across from you. And this can be anybody. It could be somebody that you know, or it could be somebody that you don't know. I don't recommend trying this with somebody you're really mad at right now. You can work up to that. So as soon as you're ready, we're going to get into our mindful bodies. And that just means that we're going to maybe sit up a little straighter. If you want to close your eyes, you can, but you don't have to. You can keep looking at me or you can look down at the floor. When I do this practice, I like to put my hands over my heart, but you can decide for yourself if that feels right to you. So I'm going to be saying some words out loud, and you can think them in your mind, or you can whisper them softly to yourself, just imagining that person who's sitting across from you. So let's start by taking a deep breath in, just a really gentle breath in through your nose, and out through your mouth. And just imagining this person, you can think or say these words out loud. 
this person wants to be happy, just like me. This person has people that they care about, just like me. This person is worried about things, just like me. This person has dreams about their future, just like me. This person feels sad sometimes, just like me. This person wants to be loved, just like me. This person is a human being, just like me. Okay, let's take one more deep breath together. Just breathing in and out. And that's the practice. Thanks for trying it with me. This is a small, but powerful way to move ourselves toward peace. And the more people who do it, the more peaceful our world can become. So maybe you can teach it to somebody else. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.